So, you want to go back in time, but you don't own a white magical DeLorean, a bright orange puffer jacket, and you don't know an old man. That's, uh, that's pretty unfortunate. I don't think it's gonna happen. Hey guys, I'm back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today I'm back once again to look at how to create pixel art water in a sprite. We're gonna go ahead and, go and get started. As you can see, we have a 16 by 16 canvas here. I have a nice blue color. We're just gonna go ahead and hit G to bucket fill that bad boy. And now we're gonna have this be animated. So what we're gonna do is what I want, um, is, is what I, what I want is I want to be like kind of still water, I don't, I don't want it to be super wavy, no, nothing crazy like that, so what I'm going to do is because this needs to loop over, um, this needs to loop animation wise, and it needs to loop like left and right, up and down, you know, it needs to be able to be tileable, um, we're going to go to view, and then go to tiled mode, and then go tiled in both axes, nice, so you can see it's kind of opened it up a little bit bigger, our canvas is still the size that it is, but you can see when I draw something, it, it makes it so that it tiles in every direction, which is nice so this will tile forever what we need to do now is let's go ahead and uh grab a slightly lighter color than the blue that we were just using um and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna draw in some lines like this we're just gonna do something like something like super wavy like that nice for the first line then we're gonna go ahead and do a second one i'm just trying to create these little these little shapes here so it looks a little bit the way that I want it to. Um, I don't want to have. I want to do. I don't want to do anything that's like super recognizable. I just want all of it to kind of blend in together, so it is a nice. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. I want it so it looks nice and um, and proper. Now these lines are too thick, so what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I drop the original blue color and then kind of shave this back a little bit so that it's not um super uh crazy. I'm gonna drop this piece down like that. There we go. I'm going to open that up, put that there. All right. I'm um, just looking for all in these double lines. because We have a lot of double lines through here because we just, uh, you know, it's a, just a little rough, a rough little uh, first sketch of the water. I'm not seeing too much. All right. I think that's basically everything. Um, maybe I want to do like this instead. Nope. Never mind. All right. I think that's all of the double lines. If I'm missing something, it's not nothing too crazy that I'm that's sticking out to me, which is fine. This is sticking out. Um, all right, I think we look good. All right, that's gonna be it for the re nice refining portion. Okay, well, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab an even lighter color than the color that we were using. So I'm just gonna drag it up a little bit more, and we're gonna create these nice little oop, these nice little pieces inside of the lines we just created. Something like this, just so it looks a little wavy, you know. All right, and just nothing, nothing insanely wild here. Just you know, in random places. I'm just trying to break them up. And you can see I'm not, I'm not doing like full whole lines with this. I kind of just want to make it so that it is um, a little variated, you know, here and there. Like uh, there we go. It looks nice. I like that. Cool. With that done. I actually want to go ahead and do something else here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to remove the blue color that we have underneath all of this. So we can do this a couple of ways, but the way I'm going to do it is we're going to go ahead and just hit duplicate, and then we're going to hide the one on top, and we're going to, we're going to go to the, the bottom one, so layer one. I'm going to use the eye drop, sorry, the eye, uh, the magic wand tool, and we're just going to go ahead and select, hold down shift, select all these pieces here in the center. And what I'm going to do is, if they don't select into that part of the canvas, there we go, there. All right, so all of these blue pieces here, that little piece there too, and this. All right, so all these blue pieces, I'm going to delete on those. It's going to get rid of every single blue thing. So if you're missing something, like if you uh, if you want to do it singular, singularly, you can just, you know, until they all get out of here. You know what I mean? It's just super simple because what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and animate these on their own. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to... Um, Let's try to select everything here. If I can grab, if I can grab all of these lines as well here, this might be um, good. So what I want to do is uh, we need to add some stuff to the selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select all this by hand. I'll hold down Shift, and we'll just select each and every single one of these little pieces that we've created here. And like I said, there's um. There's a lot of ways to do this, but what I want to do is I want to delete these lines from the other portion that we've made so the other layer my mistake the other layer that we've made i want to get rid of all of these little pieces here so we'll just select all this by hand how's you guys this day hope it's been you know amazing hope it's been really nice um and we're gonna go ahead and go to the top layer hit delete and then all those lines should be gone um i do believe that we are missing this uh this little blue piece in in between there which is fine we can just go ahead and you know fill that back in 
nice and easy. All right. So on one layer, we have only the lines, and on the other layer, we have only the blue. So that's what we need. I think this, this piece right here is actually doesn't belong there. Um, yeah, okay. I think we fixed it now. Okay, yeah, so now we should have only the lines and only the blue. Perfect. Um, now, the reason we did this is because on the lines layer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just call this lines, um, and we're going to just drag that up there. And then on this one down here, we're going to double-click this, and we're going to call this water. Nice. Um, so what we're going to do now is in between these two, I want there to be another layer, essentially. So let's go ahead and add this. Let's hit this right, right click this and hit add a new layer. And then once we've done that, we're going to call this deep water. Nice. Okay. So with that done, this is going to be essentially our darker blue color. So let's I drop the blue color that we had. We'll drop it down a little bit, add a little bit of blue. And then it'll be just like a deeper color. So I'm going to just go ahead and just draw a little bit over top of this here. Like this. Go this way maybe a little bit. You know, a little this way. Just in some random areas just to make it look nice and cool. If we put the lines back on, you can see it looks like this. Which is very nice. So that looks really, really sweet. Um, now, um, with this deep water, I want to go ahead and animate this deep water as well. So what, what we're going to do um, is once we get it started, we're just going to move it up and down. It's going to move just like that. Just like that. This is nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, and the lines will do the lines uh, in, a, in a little bit as well. So I think that's all that I really want to do here. So let's go ahead and get started on the animation, which is going to be the most tedious part of this whole thing. But let's go ahead and add some frames with this little frame button uh, one time. And then on the deep water layer, we'll just select everything. So use the select tool, just click and drag a box over top of the middle square. And then we'll just move it down by one. There you go. Nice. With that done, um, we have everything set and ready to go. Now the issue is, is that oops, if we look at the deep water on the first layer and then the second layer, you can see it kind of cuts off there. So that's not exactly what we want because the tops are kind of busted. So let's go ahead and add some color to the top here. Um, and we'll kind of try and connect these up best we can. Yeah. Okay. It looks much better already. And there we go. Okay. Maybe we can do something like that. It would just all right so now it moves perfectly there you go so nothing looks a little strange it moves up and down perfectly we just needed to add a little bit of uh color up here at the top because if it was gone when we go back and forth you see it does like that which looks strange you see this little piece down here put your eye like right in the middle of the screen here you can see it kind of went away because we didn't have anything on the top and we pulled it down but then when we added something to the top you can see that you can see that it very well did not do that weird stuff anymore so now it looks good it looks perfect wonderful nice with all of that done, now you can see when we play this, it's going to play really fast. But when you see when we play this, you can see oops, you can see it jiggles, which is nice. That's what we need. But it's going way too fast. So the way we can fix that is go up to the frame and then change the constant frame rate to maybe 300, something like that. And then hit play. You can see it looks a lot better now. There we go. Might, maybe even 400 at this point. Um, Yeah, we'll definitely play around with this, this speed in a little bit once we've done the other lines and other animation. But for now, we'll leave it that. We'll leave it right there. All right. Um, we're going to add in another frame. And this frame, um, actually, we're going to add in two more. So we're gonna hit, we'll go back to the first frame, hit the little plus as well. And then that's going to add a second, uh, a second first frame. And then we'll have, to, so essentially what we have is we have, if I hide the lines in the water, on the deep water, um, we have two frames that are the same and then on the third and fourth frame those frames are also the same so um now it stays for twice as long which is what we want so it's playing for twice as long looks a lot smoother whatever you want to call it um and then on the uh other water so the water and the lines we'll do these by ones so we're animating the deep water by twos essentially and then we're doing the um and then we're doing the uh, uh um lines by one which is nice so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to hide everything else because it's kind of hard to see what's going on um on our second frame of the lines i kind of want to just go ahead and uh play around with everything so we're just going to erase all of this we're going to just go ahead and just do 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 just go ahead and color all that back into the proper color and then we'll just add in our own uh white lines again so i drop the light color and then we'll go back in and we'll just do another random pass at it so we'll just you know everything will just be different because we're doing it from scratch again i don't really want it to line up i don't really want it to look similar i just want it to be um 
a whole new brand new thing going on here. So there we go. Make sure you stay in the lines, just like in kindergarten. All right. And then now you can see when we when we look at that, it shifts. It literally shifts over. It looks really cool. And then on the third frame, we'll do the same thing. Um, we'll go ahead and just uh, color everything back in here. And then we can use the um, use the eye drop to eye drop light color. And then we'll just redo all of it once again. And I think this is all we're going to need. I don't think we're going to do a fourth frame. Um, we're just going to go ahead and grab the second frame once again. And then it will look um, plenty different enough. There we go. There we go. And I think it looks good. Nice. So all of these look different. Some are slightly different. Some aren't different that crazily. But we'll go ahead and go to the second frame. Hit uh, Control C and then go to fourth frame. Hit Control V. And then we can paste that so you can see it looks like this when we play it, which is really, really cool. So it's like that, which is very, very nice. Um, I think I want to add, what frame is that? Is that, oh, it's, is it two? Wait, where is it? That's right here. So four and two. I want to add that piece there. All right. Nice. When that's done, let's go ahead and unhide everything. You can play it. And now you can see the water looks like this, which looks really, really cool. I think I do want to make it a little faster. So let's go ahead and make the constant frame rate 300 instead of 400. And we'll play it. And then you can see the water looks like that, which is very, 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 very nice. So we have the uh, water on top looking a little different. We have the water underneath looking a little different, which looks very, very nice. And I think that is it for today's tutorial. This is super simple. Only three layers. Really, you could do this all on one layer, but it'd be a little difficult. Um, but yeah, so that's literally how to animate some nice water that is very, very tileable. Because if you can remember, this is only one single tile. So this is what the actual animation looks like. This is what it looks like with one singular tile. And then we go ahead and hit view tiled mode. And then everything is just tiled. And then it works in all directions infinitely. So you can you can make this as big as you want. And it will always um, tile perfectly. So I hope you ladies and gentlemen uh, enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then. Bye bye.